when we build mobile apps, we aim to put them onto Apple's App Store or Google Play Store or Huawei App Gallery, stores like that. But some apps are not meant to be on those app stores. For instance, some companies are making apps for their warehouse employees. These are private apps that need to be distributed directly to these employees instead of sending them to the app store because you don't want these apps to be seen by the public. So that's where our new feature Enterprise App Store comes in. With App Circle, you can create your own app store for your company and your employees can just log in and download these apps directly from your own app store. So in order to enable our Enterprise App Store feature from our dashboard, we can go to our Enterprise App Store or choose the Enterprise App Store tab from the left. So in order to add an app to here, they need to be signed with an Enterprise certificate or they could be signed with an ad hoc uh, distribution method. In order to add an app to our App Store, we need an IPA or an APK file depending on the platform that you're building for. And to get this file, we can either use App Circle's build module and once we get a successful IPA or APK file, we can send it directly to this App Store. Or if we have a file ready, we can also tap this add new app button and upload a new app. So if you choose the first way, we can go to our build part and then choose a project. And from the configuration tab, once the build is complete, we can also choose publish enterprise app store. Once a successful file is created, it will also be sent to our enterprise app store as well. So this is one way to do it. The another way is to go to our enterprise app store tab and then tap this add new app button. So I will choose an IPA file I've built with app circle before and then hit upload and it will upload the file for me. Once I have the file, I do have this app uh, being ready for download in our App Store. But before that, I just want to show you some customization options for our App Store. So we need to determine how our employees will access this file and also how this store will look like. So let's go to Customize. And in here, we have a preview on the right and some customization options on the left. So our App Store will look like the one on the right, but we can choose a new title. We can upload our company's logo and choose a few colors to decorate our App Store. We can also see how the app detail will look like uh, with, these, with these parameters. And this is okay for me. I also uh, determined the text color. Now let's go to settings. So setting is for authentication. So we can determine how we can authenticate our, our users. And also we can set a custom domain. Now I want to mention that all plans in App Circle, including the starter plan, can use Enterprise App Store, but they have different download limitations. But for the custom domains feature, we need you to contact us to enable that feature. So with the left panel, I will just go to authentication. I can just determine a username and password for the both, both beta and live channels. So these are two different se separate passwords because some apps needs to be on the beta, beta side um, enabled for a small group of users that will just beta test the application first. Or we can also determine a live uh, setting as well. And we can also have this enable SSO toggle. When, once we enable this, you can also connect your app store to your company's SSO system. We currently support SAML, SAML SSO, and also OpenID. You can use both. And once you connect your SSO solution, your users will be able to log into your app store using their company credentials. On the right hand side, I can enable custom domains or I can just give a store prefix and have my store hosted inside App Circle. So I can just give a, any name. I've given my app store here. And then once I just tap this, I will go to my app store and see how it looks. So this is basically how we can configure our enterprise app store. So let's go back to profiles and get this app ready. So I have uploaded my IPA file. Right now it's not published. I have to publish it manually by myself. So I will just go to my actions and hit publish. And once I hit publish, App Circle asks me which channel that I'm going to publish this to. Right now we have two channels supported, one for beta and the other one is for live. Live is for all, all the users of the App Store. Beta is for a specific group. So I will choose live to make it live. I can give a summary about what this app does or what's changed in this, in this, in this version. Let's just say a demo app. And then uh, we will have a release notes here as well. And then once we look at the 
summary, we can just publish this and this will be ready. So right now my application is live. And once I go to my app store from here and do my login, I will see my application readily available for download. So if you're in a browser, you will see this QR code. And once you scan this QR code with your mobile device, you will be able to see this full screen and you will be able to download this application to your device. So let's just go back to our profiles. I can also demote this to, I can unpublish this to beta as well and I can manage users from settings here. So in here, I can give different users different access capabilities. For instance, if I have some SSO groups in my SAML configuration, I can add these here as well. If you don't specify anything, it will be available to all. So this is, in a nutshell, our Enterprise App Store feature. I hope you like it and use it to distribute your in-house apps. I'll see you on the next video.